Hi, this is Wookie from Mandala Studios. Welcome to the workshop. This is the final part in our series of making an oversized mask, where we'll show you the painting and finishing, including the hair and making its hat. If you'd like to see how we got here, there are links to previous videos in the description. We plan on making more series of videos for future projects, so don't forget to like and subscribe to see more. Okay, so we're starting out by mixing out some flesh coloured paint, so we start with some buff titanium and some portrait pink mixed up. Give us a nice sort of deadish colour, it's not a very healthy looking character's face. We just want to get that into a consistency that will spray through the spray gun. Add a little bit of red flocking there and a little bit of blue just to give it some speculation on the surface. It's not very visible in latex, it would be more visible in silicon but it helps I find. Add that to a spray gun, it's a 1.8mm spray gun, and then we're just looking to get a nice, even, basic colour of the entire surface. Then we add some spritzes from some inks mixed with alcohol, just roughly spritzed over just to get some spot marks and stuff. It diffuses into the latex, looks quite natural. We start by trimming out the eyes using a very sharp pointy pair of little scissors, then get a bigger pair of scissors into the hole we created so we can try and get some smooth lines because we don't want any jaggedy bits around the eyes, even though the performance face is a long way back in this. It's nice to make it look neat and feel comfortable. Again, small scissors make a hole, big scissors make smooth cuts. These holes are quite far back in the eye sockets from when we sculpted it. Again, just into the mouth, open that up, bit of airflow, bit of talking. Then we start painting the details of the eyes. That's some white mixed with a little bit of portrait pink, just to take the sparkle out. Deadens down the colour a bit. Mix that with 50% pack uh, prose to make packs. Just brush that over nice and even. Now we start by airbrushing, we add a, start with flesh tint, which is a little bit paler than the tint we use to colour the basque in general, so that just gives us a little bit of highlights and softens out any speckling from the spritzes that are a bit too heavy. Then we add a red earth into that, use that on the lips, and we'll also use that over a lot of the surface very palely, give it some blood capillaries in the cheeks and the nose, then we add it in the shaded areas, give it some detail definition, and in around the eyes, just to give you those pinky eye edges, and around the sockets of the eyes, it will sure look a bit more purpley when we add the blacks over the top later, just to create that sunken, sallow look. Up onto the ears, give a little bit of light flowing through. Of the whole surface, break it up a bit more with a different colour. Now we're using a smoke colour, which is a brown and black mixed thin with alcohol, so it's sort of translucent. Go around the outside of things, starting to get some definition in all the creases and folds of the skin. This has got a fairly high contrast from the reference picture we're using, so we can be a bit over exaggerated because it's like a cartoon character. Again, a little bit of mottling over the surface. Do the eyes, get some pupils. Black into those sockets now from the nostrils, just really darken it out, trying just to get that tones and details to look about right. Keep checking your references. Now we're going to fix it to the helmet that makes up how the performer's going to wear it. So we've got the helmet to the right size. Then we just add some spray glue onto that, spray glue to the inside of the mask, leave it for a few minutes, then just gently drop it in place keeping an eye to make sure you can see the eyes through the eye slots. Take it off, make it fit, double check it. All good. Then we grab a few little screws and just screw the helmet into the mask directly. 
making sure that obviously the screws don't go through the, ma the helmet into the performer's head. Put them in at a an couple of different angles, make sure it's all locked on solid. Now we're trying some hair work. This is a bit messy because it's all going to be covered with a hat. But we get a silicon pad, cover it in glue, then just lengths of hair, and we're just going to lay them around it to create a ring of hair. Then we take off all the excess. We're going to add a bit more spray glue and start adding the hair back again. This gets messy. But it's just built up in layers with the glue getting smaller and smaller until we create a reasonable thickness of hair texture, I suppose is the term. It gets harder and harder to put these layers together as you're getting covered in glue and everything's covered in glue. But it doesn't take too long, really. Once it's dry, Peel up that whole piece off the silica bat, and there you have a general hair piece. It's like a weird circular weft. Position it. We add spray glue and then just lay it on, and take the opportunity to just move the hair pieces around while it's still a bit wet, so they'll get some directionality to the hair you want. The circular position should have solved most of that, but the fringe and stuff you might just want to play with. Then just grab a pair of scissors and trim the hair to the even length that you want. varnish over the eyes and a touch on the lips just to bring those to life a bit when it's finally finished. Now on to making the hat. We roughed out a size just with a bit of cardboard make sure it covered all the glue patch. Then we tried to cut the bottom edge off so it made a nice seal down to the head without it, any gaps. Cut that shape out of foam to give us the basic ring bit of spray glue, glue that together. You see that sits nicely on but it's still a bit gappy so we just adjust the bottom edge to an angle and correct any missing. There you go, nice fit. And just a bit of fabric. We used a white cotton and we just rough out kind of the vague shape. Keep an eye what we want, pin it round, sew round the shape, see what it's going to look like. See here we've made it a bit big so we just take some bits off the side, trim trim trim, scallop the edges so you don't get any bunching from the seam allowance. See that fits nicely now, just add a few pins around the bottom, stuff it with some wadding, then just a roll of flat sheet wadding bundled inside to give it some stiffness give it a bit of a fuff, get it nice. Just glue gun the edge down and then we're going to glue gun the return of the hat so it looks like a thing. Then we're going to weather it, just a few mists of different coloured spray paints. Then we use the brown stone effect, a black, brown, uh, purple, dirty down spray. Just get it into the creases, just really just make it look a bit grotty and nasty like the reference picture did. There we go.